Hey, hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to buy land and build multiple homes on it. All right, first I'm gonna start out like Captain Obvious. It's like something you don't even think about it, but it's like right before your eyes and you gotta do it. Next is who do we even talk to about land and who the heck owns it? And if you're here, you're obviously looking for great deals and I'm gonna show you how to find the absolute best deals. All right, here's Captain Obvious for you. First, you have to pick your playground. You know, this seems so obvious to us as we're talking about it, but this is by far the hardest part for most people is where do I start? They want to do all this analysis paralysis, all these numbers. I say, keep it super simple. And I want you to do it within about a two hour radius of where you currently live. This is how I got started and looking at, I've got over 125 students now and looking at the ones that are growing the fastest, they are starting in their own backyard and they're giving themselves a two hour radius so this is big backyard a two-hour radius is huge but it's manageable you can accomplish this if you need to say go meet a seller go and meet a buyer collect cash put some signs out you know whatever it takes this two-hour radius is manageable and this is so obvious but people put so much like pressure on themselves to figure this out like where should I start or how much growth is happening what's the colleges what's the schools look like it doesn't matter Pick an area that's two hours from where you currently live now. This is how I got started, and this is how my most successful, fastest, accelerating students are starting. So a little bit more on picking this playground. I prefer to be just on the outskirts of everything. So I call it my teeter-totter method. You know, the building is happening over here. Over here is where kind of like the vacant raw land is at. You know, it's just on the teeter-totter. It's like, okay, is, when's growth gonna happen there? It's gonna be five, six, 10 years. That's where I wanna be because there's still deals to be found out there. There's still people motivated to sell. Maybe they're up in their 60s or 70s. Like they'll be dead before the path of growth actually gets to them. So they wanna go ahead and get rid of the land now. Those are the people I'm talking to. The out-of-state owners, the people that are behind on their taxes, those are the ones I'm talking to. And that kind of leads me into my next point. 99 out of 100 people are not gonna need us. We want to talk to the people that do need our services, the ones that do want our help, the ones that are willing to give us a great discount on the land and also maybe even terms. What are terms? That's when they allow us to make payments to them. You know, America, Americans, we think on how much is it gonna cost us each month. Let's, we can do the same thing when we buy a piece of land. All right, so when we're looking for a piece of land to build multiple homes on it, we gotta get the land at a great price. So we pick the area just outside of the path of growth, you know, because people are always pushing out, especially right now, the, the pandemic that just went through here, the COVID-19. I saw more people looking to get out of the city, more people buying five acre parcels, more people pushing out than I've ever seen since 2000. I mean, I started this in 2015 and I've yet to see it as much demand as what COVID-19 provided for landowners. So when looking for a piece of land to build multiple homes on it, being on that teeter-totter effect is amazing. But where in the heck do we even find these landowners? Who owns all this land? Like, how do we even find them? So I wanna to talk to you. I'll show you the link at the end, but there's a great resource that we can go on and we can find these landowners. It shows what their land is actually worth. It also breaks it down into increments of what we offer for this land at five cents on the dollar, 10 cents on the dollar, 20 cents on the dollar. And they give that to you all in a beautiful Excel spreadsheet where you can literally be mailing tonight actual landowners an offer. You mail them an offer for their land and that's how you buy a great piece of land at a massive discount to build multiple homes on it. All right, so we've talked about the obvious, picking your playground, and then we talked about how to find a list of landowners. Before I move to my next step, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video. And the reason why you wanna subscribe is because I have so much more content about buying and selling land and I'm the land man. So let me tell you something, you might be thinking about this already or you might not have even thought about this, which is probably even more dangerous. You can't just go and buy any parcel of land and just put you know, tons of houses on it or several houses on it. You want to go ahead and contact the county, talk to the mayor. And guys, it's so much easier to speak to the city officials and the mayors than you think it is. You know, you wanna to go to their meetings. The minutes are all public record. You want to see where the county wants the growth to happen. And you want to align with their goals because if you align with their goals, you're planning on building multiple houses on a piece of land. You don't wanna be going against them. You wanna be going with them so things flow way, way easier for you. So go to the plan 
planning and zoning meetings. Go talk to your planning and zoner. Meet your mayor. Ask, where do we need additional housing out there? Because you don't want to just go and buy a parcel of land and hope and pray that you're going to be able to put multiple homes on it. You want to see what the city wants, what the county wants, where their growth plans are happening. And this is all public record. You know, you're totally welcome to sit in on these things. So once you know when you're aligning with the path of the city and the county and what they want, you know, that's when you find that piece of land. And then you want to make sure that this land is, is going to support what you're trying to do. You know, are you able to subdivide it? You know, you want to do an environmental study. Maybe you're in Florida or Louisiana or some area like that that has flooding constantly. You want to make sure that there's no wetlands on this area because there was one that we did in Florida that we had to do like an actual environmental study and turn out there was only 10% of that land that we weren't allowed to touch. That left us 90%, almost 26 and a half acres to deal with. So you wanna check these things out and then you go through a survey process. But here's the key. You want to maybe align the seller with your goals as well because a lot of times these sellers are looking to cash out pretty quickly if they're interested in this, but there are some sellers that are willing to get their profits over a period of time. And you can allow the seller to almost do a joint venture with you or partner with you on this process to where you're not paying boatloads of money up front. You're making sure that all these things can happen before you actually pay for the land. Like, you know, the environmental study, talking to the county officials, getting the survey done, subdividing, because you can't just go and buy 10 acres of land and put 10 houses on it. It's not that easy. You have to go through all the red tape, you know, check all the boxes. You know, these are things you want to know beforehand. So when you're buying land, to build multiple houses on it, you also want the absolute best deal because every discount you can get, every dollar off you can get on that land, you know, every percentage, like if you're buying it like 20, 30, 40 cents on the dollar, that's gonna increase your profit when you sell these houses, or maybe you're gonna keep them and rent them out. It doesn't matter, but I wanna talk to you about how to find the absolute best deals. We want to be talking to the lowest hanging juicy fruits. And I kind of, you know, talked a little bit about it on the list, you know, finding the list and talking to the people, tax delinquent, tax delinquent. That just means that money that they're not paying towards their property taxes is taking priority for something else. Maybe it's groceries. Maybe they have a couple house payments. Maybe they have kids in college. That's showing some type of motivation, if they are not paying their property taxes, that's telling me they don't want that property. Number two is they're out of county. They don't live in the same county as the land, so that means they're probably not touching it every day or they're not stepping foot on it for months at a time. And number three is they're out of state. And if you can get you know, the out of state and the tax delinquent, usually that's some reason for motivation and they're way willing to give us a bigger discount, a massive discount, and even sometimes give us terms that we couldn't walk away from. And when I say terms, that's like a monthly payment. I like 0% interest. I like principal only payments, which is the same thing. But I don't say to a seller, I want to pay you 0% interest. I tell I want principal only payments. So if my payment's $1,000 a month or $500 a month, every single month, that balance goes down. All right, so as promised, I didn't forget, I talked to you about finding that list of landowners. I talked to you about how they give me the actual evaluation. They price it. They tell me exactly what it's worth, and then they break it down on how we offer it. That is priced.com forward slash the land sharks. And definitely use this link because you're going to get a seven day free trial. You're also going to get your first 400 records free. You can literally be mailing landowners tonight. And that's price.com forward slash the land sharks. And it's below in the description as well. So you can just click on it. You know, a lot of this might seem overwhelming and it did when I was first starting out as well. If I could help you avoid any of these mistakes and show you all these details and give you all this, my systems and everything we use and what my team uses to get these deals done, head over to the landsharks.com, book a call with me and my team, and we'd love to see if we're a great fit to coach you on your land buying journey.